Welcome to Skill Modeling Videos guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do some post shading to create effects like this where you see some areas are darkened and some areas are light and decay. Effects like that. Okay. Alright. Let's get started. Also during this video I will explain how to get uh, this kind of result. A um, post using post shading. So I have used a pattern uh, on the background to create um, explosions, circular explosions, as you would uh, you know on a Gundam, because the explosions they explode in circles. I just wanted to create this effect. Okay, and I'll show you how I did that using um, uh, post shading. Uh, I've also post shaded the top as well a little bit, but it's hard to see. Okay. The first technique I'm going to use is going to use uh, post shading using the color white. You can also use a lighter color of the uh, of the base color to get the uh, same post shading effect. We must uh, first paint all the parts we want to post shade with the base color. Here I'm using SMS Dark Grey. I will now post shade uh, these parts with SMS Aggressor White. Uh, you can obviously use another white or you can use a very light shade of the original color. Now with this technique, try to uh, paint the post shading uh, or the white color in the center of the panels where, where you would generally see a lighter effect, not on the edges. So we're trying to paint in the center of the panels. If there is more than one panel, on the part, just paint in the center of that panel, as you're seeing in the video here. Here are the parts all post shaded now. I will now paint over these parts using the original base color. Now the uh, amount of paint I put down will determine how much of a uh, post shading effect I'll get at the end. The more paint I put down the less of a post shading effect I will get. Uh, the less paint I put, the more of an effect I will.
Here you can see all the uh, parts I've just post shaded with the first technique. As you can see, I have uh, there's a lighter shade in the center of the parts or in the center of the panels. Okay, this gives the uh, the edges a darker look. I will now uh, show you the uh, second technique. Uh, this technique, we will use a dark color, uh, the color black, to paint, to post shade the edges, and then we will uh, paint the original color over them. Okay, this gives a slightly different effect. I use this technique on lighter colors, as you're seeing here. So, uh, firstly, we're going to paint the parts with the uh, base color, in this case, SMS Sky Green. I will now post shade this with uh, black. Now this technique, uh, instead of painting the center of the panels, we'll paint the edges, okay? Because you want the edges to have a darker shade uh, than the center of the uh, panels. So with this technique, like I said, we'll paint only the edges of the uh, parts. I will now paint over these with the base color again, uh, once again controlling the amount of paint I put down um, to get the, uh, the result that I want.
Here are the results using the uh, second technique. As you can see, in this case, uh, the edges are darker, leaving the uh, central panels a bit lighter. Okay, a very similar effect to the first technique. I prefer to use this technique on lighter colors and the uh, first technique on uh, darker colors. Okay. The uh, last technique I want to show you is one in which we create a uh, pattern uh, using post shading. Okay, uh, in this case, we will use a pattern of circles uh, on the shield uh, to give us that uh, effect of explosions that happened on the shield. You can also create uh, different patterns. You can create a modeling pattern, one that would uh, suit aircraft models or tanks as well, by using a template that is shaped to create a model pattern. The video will explain this. I'm now going to create a template using a piece of paper and some hole punches. Uh, my pattern uh, in this case is going to be uh, a lot of circles. You can use a completely different template. Like I said, if you want to create a modeling effect, you can buy many uh, templates uh, online or uh, from your hobby shop to give you that uh, modeling effect. Uh, in this case, like I said, I'm using uh, a template to create circular um, circular shapes.
There's the shield uh, assembled. I've put some decals on it and I've put a flat cut on it, but you can clearly see the uh, circular pattern underneath representing uh, explosions uh, that would have occurred when laser beams hit this shield. Okay, I hope you uh, like the video. I've shown you uh, three different techniques here of how to post shade uh, model parts. Okay.